Hi guys, today we do a review of SunGrow Inverted 10 kilowatt single phase. And to help us today is Matt Hartney from Inspire Energy. G'day Matt. How are we? Uh, SunGrow Inverters, you've installed a few of those? Last year we installed 1800 SunGrow 5 kilowatt single phase unit. In one project? In one project, yep. So out of the 1800, how many actually arrived dead on arrival and wouldn't work? Uh, none. None? We didn't have any dead on arrival, no. That's a good start. All right, so what do we got? Box. The new models have a high temperature screen. So you'll find the LCD is not displayed until you press on the screen and then the LCD will come up. Let's have a look at the underside here. So it still has a heat sink on the back for the active cooling. So we've got three individual MPPT inputs here. Each MPPT can take up to 16 amps, which means it can accommodate for all the new panels on the markets. As the panels get higher wattage, they also get higher current. So you've got your cover here, which covers up all the, all the connection. On. So the reason we have that is because sometimes your cabling can be a bit of an eyesore to hide the um, all the cable connections. That's the bracket that we used to mount the units mm. to the wall. They used to be much bigger, didn't they? They used to be kind of nearly the whole size of the unit. And they so. did. These days, they obviously a much higher tensile steel bracket that they use. And mm. with the, the advantage, this one comes with little levels. So that's your data data connector. So all your data cabling comes in through the through the gland at the bottom here. All the 10 kilowatt units come with a single phase energy meter, which we use the energy meter to monitor the home's consumption, as well as if we need to do any export control. That's your AC connector. So your AC cabling comes in through here. Yeah. It's hardwired into the inverter and they provide you with the lugs. It's an IP65 unit, which means it can be outside in the weather. They've also got a C5 corrosion rating, so we can install them on the coast. With the new units, we can software upgrade remotely via the iSolar Cloud app. If it's a remote unit, we um, we generally are able to put a video together and send it to the end user. They are quite simple to use, the SunGrow unit, so we can um, teach a, an end user how to download the firmware and upload the firmware into the units as well. If we want to summarise this, it is obviously a solid unit because you've had 1800 no failure. It gives you ability to monitor and also diagnose remotely. It's not the most expensive 10 kilowatt on the market, but from a reliability point of view, do you believe it's up there right up the top with the best? For me personally, I, I rate the SunGrow as the most reliable unit that we've used. And we've been installing solar since 2008, and so we've been through quite a few of the brands. We find SunGrow one of the best units that we've been, been installing with. Just from reliability and- Reliability, and then also the, um, the back-end service. If we do have an issue, there is always a SunGrow representative that we can call and we can always get service and technical advice for the units as well. My biggest complaint about the SunGrow really today is that I haven't found anything to complain about, so that's what makes me cranky. Other than that, it's a bloody solid unit.